Well, it's time to put our hands together and welcome Julian Lepo from Turning Tides Financial in Buffalo, one of the dynamic duo, making up Julian and Katie, helping you take care of your finances. And Julian's going to take over from where she left off last week talking about PFMs, and I love that acronym, Personal Financial Management. Just like taking care of our automobiles with PMs, preventative maintenance, that's what I understand. Julian and and Katie and all our financial planners with Car Connection are looking after your finances, your household, your budgeting, your financial future, your retirement, your estate planning through PFMs, personal financial management. Let's welcome, let's welcome, a warm welcome to uh, Julian Lepo from Turning Tides Financial LLC this morning at Williamsville and Orchard Park, and you can find them on our website. So listen up. Good morning, Julian. Good morning, Niall. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And yourself? I am wonderful. Thank you so much for asking, and thank you so much for having us this morning. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, the continuation of your your PFMs, because that excites me. Personal financial well, management. Yeah, thank you so much. We're excited, too. It's a great part of our program. It's a great part of our company, and uh, Katie and I are very passionate about this program. But before we get started, I would like to thank all of you for your thoughts and prayers. Katie and Katie's daughter and her family are doing very, very well, and we owe it all to prayer, of course. So thank you so much for that. Always welcome. There's power in prayer. God knows that's the truth, so thank you. So today, Niall, I will briefly introduce myself for those of us, um, for those of you who have joined us today that maybe haven't heard us in the past. My name is Julianne Lipo, and I am founder and co-owner of Turning Tides Financial, a U.S.-based firm that has two offices here in Williamsville, New York, and Orchard Park, New York, Um, and we work specifically with people that are looking through financial transitions, retirement, widowhood, um, unfortunately divorce, planning for your financial future, whether it be from an investment strategy, insurance solutions, or personal financial management, Katie and I are fully licensed advisors as well as certified divorce financial analysts. So we are very, very passionate about what we do when we take a very holistic and personal approach to each and every one of our clients. And so you're right, Niall. Today we are going to have kind of part two of our personal financial management conversation. It might not be quite as exciting as pooling (laughs) in a car, but we are going to help you make your financial position not overheat in a bad way. Is that a good analogy? Oh, that was that was awesome, (laughs) Julian. In fact, I'm wondering if we could create some test strips for PFM. Yeah, I think we better get on that. (laughs) Yeah, it sure would. Just here, just lick this test strip for me, would you? (laughs) Woo, this is okay. We we got some work to do, right? (laughs) We got some work to do, but my goodness, wouldn't we be ahead of the game? We sure would. That would really help. So, Daniel, what we do with our personal financial management program specifically is we take a look at, or I should say we take a listen uh, to our clients and our, our friends that are coming to visit us and ask them to start helping clarify to themselves and to us what they want to achieve financially, what they value, and frankly, how those values affect their financial future, and more just equally as important is how it can affect their financial future for themselves and their families if there's no action taken. And that can be something as simple as creating a spending plan. Remember, Niall, we've talked about budgets, right? I'm not a huge fan of budgets. Nobody likes to restrain Nobody likes that word even. They run when you say that. It makes my mouth burn a little saying it, actually, Niall. So I started using the word spending plan because you know what? Anybody can have a budget, feel restrained, and not feel successful, and if they don't do it the right way, they give up. But we all spend, and some of us like doing it more than others, but if we can create a spending plan that's efficient and thorough and comprehensive to our lifestyle, isn't that a great thing? Isn't That That is an amazing thing. 
Right. It's a first step to creating a financial plan. So in our PFM program, that's part of what we help you do is understand your resources, understand your financial goals and objectives, help you try and achieve the life you're desiring through slaying the debt dragon, through yes. understanding your financial future, understanding that financial roadmap, understanding what's important to you and helping you clarify that. So we have developed ver various programs, whether it's kind of one-shot appointments where people come and sit with us for a couple of hours and they take a look at understanding their net worth, understanding their financial statements, understanding their spending plan, or if they need something a little more comprehensive and they need something for three months or six months, once a week, twice a month, those are very tailored programs. And we ask our, each of our clients very important questions through our program, such as who's depending on you today and who's going to depend on you tomorrow and do who helps you financially and each of those questions is different for each person right Niall I could ask you who depends on you today who's going to depend on you tomorrow and who helps you financially today and those answers from you might be very different than from me so what makes me think that our plans would be the exact same of course they wouldn't be I don't right. think I don't think so either I'm with you I don't think so okay <laughs> so that's part of the planning process is to understand Who's important to you and what's important to you? We also, when we are going through our personal financial management, there are specific things that we cover that are kind of linked to those specific questions. Like I said, we talk about your full net worth. We talk about, and sometimes Niall, people think that net worth statement means, oh, I have to have hundreds of thousands of dollars, a million yes. dollars. It doesn't at all. But, right. Daniel, how are you supposed to get there if you don't know what you already have? Good point. You have to review what you have. You have yeah. to understand what you have, what it's doing, sure do. or what it's not doing, probably even more important. Or you can't get to the next step. You can't go up the staircase only by taking the first step. You're not going to get to the top if you don't keep going. So we help you understand your full net worth by reviewing all of your accounts, bank accounts and checking and savings and CDs and your insurances and your mortgages, all of those types of things so that you can understand your net worth. We also take a look at um, ongoing reviews of your spending plan. So through this personal financial management program, we help you be mindful. We help you be mindful of your spending. We're not here to tell you what you can and can't buy, Niall. We're just here to help you understand just where your money is going and help you create a road path and a road map for any changes that you might want to create. So these are just some of the avenues and some of the, the points that we look at. But you know what a big one is right now, Niall? What's been happening in the U.S.? with people's personal information. I don't know if it's as rampant in Canada, but in yeah. the U.S. right now. It's called it's fake lot. news. Lots well, of fake that. news. The fake yeah. news and a lot of personal information has been breached. Yes, it has. Everywhere. At a lot of places. And that's just frightening because we can be faced with living our whole lives and working our whole lives to save and to earn and to do the right thing and then something really really unfortunate happens and whether it's our identity gets stolen or somebody hacks into our accounts and uses some of our money um, or opens accounts for us so part of this program is helping you understand your credit report helping you understand how to get it helping you understand what it means we're not credit counselors we're not going to do a debt relief program from a standpoint of calling your creditors and helping you know them do things but right we do help you understand what those things are showing and what they are saying and if you should be taking any action on them so all of these types of things lead to personal financial management and personal financial gain potentially personal financial empowerment and that's what we're all about because as soon as you can get your house in order you can slay that debt dragon you can get to the top of that staircase you know what the next steps are Niall? yes what and, are they you know 
Yeah. And, and folks, uh, Julian's given you some great advice here because, you know, as long as you have a checkbook, you have an estate. So you've got to take care Absolutely. of that. That's a BFM. And, and Julian, maybe you could spend a, a moment or two talking about how important it is for that estate plan and, and with regards to uh, personal financial management. What happens if you don't have that in place and what happens when you do? Absolutely. And thank you for bringing that up, Niall, because as much as personal financial management is going to lead us down the road of hopefully trying to create an estate, right? Right. A higher valued estate. Exactly. It has an estate. It's just a matter of how much that estate's worth. It doesn't mean you have to have millions of dollars, but during through our personal financial management program, we want to help you get on a road to be able to do investing and buy insurance strategies for your family's protection and so on. But you have to understand proper titling for that estate, proper avenues for those funds to flow. And when you have accounts, no matter if it's a checking account or a savings account or an investment account, whether it's worth um, twenty thousand or fifteen thousand or one hundred and fifty thousand, it's an estate. It's just whether it's considered right. a small estate, which is under twenty five thousand, or it's over. Now, New York State has different guidelines for different scenarios, but in general, probate can take um, averages between nine to eighteen months in New York State. What does that mean exactly? Is anything that doesn't have a beneficiary listed is going to flow through probate. How much is an average house in New York in Buffalo? Do you think? I don't know, hundred and fifty, hundred and twenty. Yeah, I was going to say hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. right in there. Do you have a yeah. beneficiary on your house? I mean, mm. my mortgage statement says my name, but it doesn't say for the benefit of. So your house is the biggest part of your estate quite often. So you need to have a will, and you need to make sure that that will specifically outlines where that house is going to go. It doesn't just automatically happen. Even if we're married, there are guidelines that have to be followed. And do you want the state, the government, to kind of dictate what goes where and when? If you don't have proper documentation set up on all of your accounts, whether it's your house, whether it's your checking, whether it's your investments, whether it's your insurance, whether it's your car or jewelry or that special item, if you don't have things set up specifically either through a will or named as beneficiary, you know what happens? The courts get to step in and say what's what. Or somebody that you didn't want to is going to potentially step in and say, Here, let me take care of that. So Mm. although we are absolutely not attorneys, we do have a very large network of very highly professional partners in the arena of estate planning, in the arena of creating wills, healthcare proxies, and power of attorneys. And we review them with our clients through the PFM program to make sure that they are reaching the goals that they want. It's all about personal empowerment in your financial arena. And that is what Katie Weibel, myself, at Turning Tides Financial specialize in. So, Niall, I'm going to give you a little bit of information. I know we're wrapping up here for the day. Um, Everyone can look us up on our website at www.turningtidesfinancial.com. They can reach out to us at 716-800-4290. My name is Julianne Lipo, and my partner is Katie Weibel. But today we're also going to give away two 60-minute strategy sessions, Niall. Wow. And this is so important because this is where people really get to just pick our brains. We say, come on in and talk about this and this, but you know what? What if you had a different agenda? Come on in, and if you say, listen, I just need to understand my retirement plan. Listen, I need to understand if I need a a retirement plan or if my 401K is okay, or I need to know what your personal financial management program is and if it's right for me. We are never going to be in a high sales capacity. We opened our firm a number of years ago because we wanted to make sure we were always doing the right thing for the client and not checking a box for a corporation that told me that you need to sell, sell, sell. That is not what we do. It is not the approach that we take. We are a holistic planning firm that will always put our client's interest first. And so those two-minute sessions, people are going to call into you and get 
them your name and their information. We're going to sit down and do as much planning and suggestions and outlines as we can during that hour and make a decision on whether or not Turning Tides Financial is the firm to help them find personal financial empowerment. How's that sound, Niall? I love it. Live your life, plan your future. Folks, it's That's time to engage. Deal. And uh, for all those who have in the last several months stepped up and worked on uh, getting work done on the estate planning properly, uh, a big kudos to you. And taking advantage of uh, the offers that our, all of our financial planners put on the table for you. I mean, a 60-minute strategy session, as soon as I hear Julianne or any of our planners offer those things, that would cost you money. Here's an opportunity for you to make that decision. I got to get in there. I need to get some answers. Something as simple as taking a look at um, where's your money going? Are you paying too much for insurance? Do you have life insurance? What are you paying for it? Vehicle insurance, home insurance. They're going to make sure that all those things are in order because there could be found money there that could be used to get some investments going to create wealth and work towards your future. So there's a lot of things going on. And for all those who have taken advantage of these offers over the last several months, congratulations to you because you are moving in the right direction. Julianne, say hi to Katie for me, and thank you for joining us this morning and last week and wrapping things up. And we look forward to having you back next month, the month of November. Can you believe that already? November. I can't. I can't. Although I, I can't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time on, with this so winter thing. <laughs> I, th- I want to run and hide where it's warm. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Well, Niall, um, have a blessed, blessed day. Thank you to all our friends and listeners, and God bless. We'll talk soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Julianne. Turning Tides Financial, LLC, Orchard Park, and Williamsville. The ladies are there for you. So there's two packages available, two 60-minute strategy sessions with the ladies at Turning Tides Financial for those we're willing to pick up the phone right now and call in and say, I'm in. I'm all in. 883-5000, the greater Buffalo area, 1-800-684-2848. That's 883-5000. For our U.S. listeners, here's your opportunity to tie right in with Katie and Julian at Turning Tides Financial and uh, get a 60-minute strategy session. There's two of them available. It's uh, you don't win them, you call in and you claim them, and you book it and you go, and change your life, change your direction of your entire household. You'll be so surprised and so relieved to have one of those sessions and come away going, wow, now I really know what's going on. Eight eight three five thousand. Just pick up the phone and give Steve a call and say I'll take one of those strategy sessions, sixty minute strategy sessions. Eight eight three five thousand. More of Car Connection as we begin the last quarter and wrap things up for this week's broadcast of Car Connection on Life Changing Radio, WDCX 99.5 and WDCX AM 970. And available to you all WDCX programming 24-7, 365 days of the year at carconnectionbusinessnetwork.com. Don't go away. We're going to be right back right after this. (laughs) 